Who? We here. We set. So oh, no. Mm. Bro, how you doing today? Man, I'm doing good. Man, we we are live on Facebook. We're live on a couple of Facebook pages and um yeah. So before we get started talking on what we were talking about, I think we got some oh we got some comments. Uh let's see. We got Willie. Willie, bless you, man. Wish it you blessings to you as well. So, oh, so excited to be with you guys today. Albert, what's up, man? Elton Allen, what's up, my brother? Uh what's up, nephew? Love you, man. Give me a call so we can chop it up. Man, I, I love you guys and I'm continuing to pray for you and your families. And as we continue to challenge, change, and charge one life at a time. And definitely love is my inspiration. Love is my motivation for why I do what I do. It's a joy to come and share with you guys today. We're going to have a great time and share some incredible, incredible stuff. Uh, with you today. So super, 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 uh, super, super excited. Mark, how you doing, man? All is well. Man, the people coming on yeah, in. Come on in there. Come on, Kurt Mackey. What's up? Hey, hey. Bless you, my brother. Proud of you, man. See what you're doing. Talit, I have to answer your last question that you sent to me. So I, I got you on that. I asked me for some organ tips, bro. Ish, what's up? What? It's been a long time, brother. Bless you, man. Tanzania. We got Come on, Tanzania in the house. I'm a better person who's coming in. If you could do, do me a favor, put where you're from. Um, some I know, but a lot I don't know. So if you could put exactly where you're coming in from. Kyrie, what's up? Love you too, man. Oh. Kyrie. And like you said, going to drop where you're where you're coming in from because we know there's a lot of people from from all over the world and um, Oopsie. <laughs> you are so welcome. Charlie, trying to keep so welcome. The comments. So we got Dante from Charlotte. Charlotte. Come on, Charlotte in the house. Oh wait, I'm missing people. I'm missing people. Carlito from Atlanta. What's up, ATL in the house? Raymond Richmond. <laughs> oh man. He John Eric Crocker. Man, that's that's a name. That's a lot of that's a lot of words. That's a lot of words. Yeah. We got Flint, Michigan in the Michigan. house. Oh, what's up, E? But Michigan is, is in the house. Uganda's in the house. Joshua, bless you, man. Uh we got people on what? Come on. You were ATL. Man, I am Reverend Spence. I, oh man. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm loving people. it, bro. I'm loving Boston, it. Right and Stephen Gibson, Nigeria, St. Louis, Kampala, Uganda. Wow. Bird. Fishburg in the house. Dallas. Little Rock um, officer, Reverend Spence. God bless you, man. Man, we're praying for Ganja City. Gang. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, man, there's so much stuff going on. All yes. around the world, we're definitely yes. praying. Coming in from South Africa, yes. Little Rock, yes, uh, STL St. Louis, right? Am I, yeah. am I, mm -hmm. is that right? St. Louis, St. Louis. Lagos, uh, Lagos. Lagos. uh, Waycross, Georgia, Rochester, New York is in the house. Come on, Nairobi, Kenya, uh, Rochester. Uh -huh. All right, really awesome. Uh, so, Man, we're we're hanging out today. Uh, sure. <laughs> we are hanging out today, um, talking about the uh, some just some some music related stuff, some life related stuff, and um, we want to make sure that uh, it's it's in this time it's difficult to always be available to do live stuff. Uh, so we're trying to do it as we uh, as we can. Uh, but today we want to talk about something. Uh, Q is doing something that he doesn't do a lot of, uh, and that is uh, doing some online one-on-one -on -one lessons. So before we talk about how to get access to a one-on-one -on -one private lesson 
Uh, make sure that you share this video if you're on Facebook. If you're on uh, YouTube, you may not be able to share because it's just a different ball game out there. And thanks for dropping where you are from. We got some more from South okay, Africa. Yeah. Uh, Q, the world needs your gospel version of the Star Spangled Banner. That is, <laughs> well, that's that's out there. It's it's there's. I don't oh, know yeah. if you've heard it, but there's one on YouTube of playing Star Spangled Banner. I think you read a photo shoot that's and you just started playing the, the Star Spangled Banner. For sure. So, oh, let me say this real quick, bro. Before we move any further, uh, I thank God for my brother and my friend. My marketing genius Antoine Chambers today. Um, I really appreciate you, Ben. And uh listen, learn to appreciate the people who help to make you better and the people who are part of your team. Nobody's an island and no one can do it by themselves. Listen, that's a lesson. Let me throw that out there. That's a nugget. Don't ever forget that where you're going. You need to uh, be thankful and grateful and show appreciation. Show it. Just don't say it, but show it. So I appreciate you today, Tuan. Man, yeah. I appreciate you as yeah. well. Yeah. Well, super excited, guys. Super excited to be able to, to share with you. We're preparing for this one-on-one -on -one virtual panel lesson with myself. And uh, been privileged for about maybe 15, 20 years or so uh, to really teach uh, people across the country. I've taught in Alaska. I've taught in California. I've taught um, privately in Virginia, as well as New York, as well as Texas. Um, I've done one-on-one -on -one sessions in the Carolinas, um, Atlanta area, um, and other places. And so I'm really excited to be uh, bringing this to you. We are offering you an opportunity to jump on in. We have a promo going on right now that's absolutely amazing for an amazing price. And for those who are uh, in the course already, you're automatically kind of signed up already. You're signed up already. And for those who are coming in, you automatically get the opportunity to come on in. I believe, Twan, we got three students we're going to be doing, or or we're going to be picking three students over uh, a couple yeah. of days, three different dates in the month of October. So I'll, I'll go on and put this up so we can see it. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, and Q, if you, you can, if you want to, walk through that uh talk through that i'm gonna move this other banner out the way so we don't have two things um yeah so what we'll be doing is uh we're celebrating uh the three years of online teaching as it relates to this particular course of course quinell has been teaching for a lot of years but this month uh we get a lot of inbox messages and it's hard to respond to them all but we get a lot of people asking about private lessons and occasionally that's available but this uh, month we're actually making it available uh, as part of our membership. So when you become a Stay the Course student, uh, right now you can actually get access to it for as little as like 12 or 13 bucks. And once you become a student of Stay the Course, you will be entered into the drawing. So this Friday we'll have one, next Friday we'll have one, and the following Friday we'll have a drawing. Once that drawing happens, uh, you'll you'll receive an email because you'll be on our email list, and uh, you will you know be reached out to to be able to do that virtual lesson. So there's a couple of things that of course have to happen to make it uh, work. Of course, you have to have um, working internet because without working internet, it, it won't work. Uh, you have to have access to either Zoom or Skype. Uh, we'll we'll work with you to. Um, to see which one works best with you, but we're going to do three winners. And all you have to do to be a winner is be a part of one of the courses. So uh, what we'll do right now is we'll, we'll kind of walk you through uh, some of the things that are available in the courses. So right now, this month, when you sign up, you'll be able to, uh, to get access to this particular drawing. And we've yeah. even reduced the price to make it more affordable for as many people as possible. So our goal is to reach as many people as possible and get them access to this information. Uh, so I, I may even, we may even answer a couple of questions just real quick and then show you what's inside of, uh, of the course so that you can understand uh, what that is. Yeah, so stay tuned, um, stay tuned. Like, uh Hang with us. We don't plan on being, you know, really, really long. We want to be able to get to some of your questions, but 
definitely want to let you know and give you more information on um, what you can expect and what the course actually is. Matter of fact, we've never done this before to actually let people into what the course is all about. Uh, it took a lot of time and preparation to be able to get this together. And so many around the world have already been tremendously blessed. And I have people calling me. I have, I have uh, one of my one of the students that's come in, Antoine uh, uh, Ashley Goings. Um, she's an expecting mother who told me she's going to practice, never played before, had the desire, but life happened. And she has the desire to play. So she's like seven months pregnant, eight months pregnant. I think she's expecting next month or something like that. And she I, sends, I feel like I saw that. <laughs> she posts her video of her playing. She sent us a video of her son that's a year old that's, tap pl that's plunking the keyboard now because the baby is seeing her play. And so she says she's going to practice all the way up to her literally giving birth to the baby. It's absolutely amazing um, to see you know, that a guy can give you something that's so unique and so special that can really uh, build a community of people who are excited to learn. And yeah. so we're excited to prepare it and, and make sure that uh, we bring it to you, offer it to you. Uh, it's not about the money. The, mo the money is not our focal point. This is a business, but the money is not our focal point. We really want to see you uh, go beyond your plateau and be the best that you can be. Uh, mentorship, coaching, uh, teaching, answering your questions, a community of people who have either been through the course or further through the course who want to help you. If you, you can't play, it's for you today. You know, um, if you've never touched the piano before, but you've always wanted to play, listen, don't, you don't need to find another teacher. You found your teacher. Come on in. Come on in. I would want to be a blessing to you and really help you to get to the next level. Get access today, $12.49. Which is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I, and um, like I always say, I'm saying what I'm saying. That price is saying what it's saying. It's to yeah. bless you. And to help you, I've had a couple of people, I had somebody from India that said that they were going to be going ahead and purchasing. Uh, they want to get it. And uh, somebody reached out to me, I believe, yesterday. And they said, uh, somebody hit me today from New York saying, hey, say, big dog, hey, big dog. <laughs> I remember when I met him years ago, he used to work in a studio there in Long Island. He said, hey, big dog, man, I'm still struggling with my fingers, man. I can't get my fingers together. Do you have anything, you know, anybody who has uh, scales? I said, know anybody? I said, I have them myself. I yeah. said, I need to the course. You need to go check it out. And so I'm looking forward to his, uh, his response. And I know he's excited. And I mm -hmm. know that there are some of you out there, um, as I get all these questions that come in, I mean, I tell you, the questions that we read, I mean, hundreds, hundreds, hundreds of questions. People want to know about arpeggios. People want to know about speed. People want to know how fast you go. People want to know how you can learn songs faster. You have various different, a myriad of questions from different level players. And for some, for some, not all, uh, people can play songs. Uh, people have learned songs. People read music, um, uh, have learned to read music, but they still can't do their scales. The scales is a missing element. We're going to get into why that's so important, and show you in the course where that is. So I'm telling you, get ready. We're really going to take you through, especially for those who don't know about the course, for those who probably have an idea about the course but really don't know. Listen, we're really going to try to help you to understand what is being offered. One-time payment forever. I've had We've had those questions too. But when you buy the course, do you have to do a recurring thing uh, every month, or is it a recurring payment every six months, every year? You know, it's no, it's yours for a lifetime. You know, it's something that you can share with your family, share with your children, and you can really access and uh, uh, access it and access it and really make it happen for yourself. So, super, super excited. The course is A1. I'm a witness. Thank you, Albert. To God be the glory, man. Uh, and, and, this, and this is the thing. Um, uh, oh, I have, oh, I have an echo somewhere. I don't know where that quick. There we go. But yeah, so this is the thing about the course. Um, literally, the course is designed to get you what most people don't have until they get to college. So yeah. the course is designed to say, well, many people have to learn their skills by just watching nowadays from watching YouTube videos, 
uh, learning their chords is like who you're going to find that shows you the right chords and communicates it the right way. Uh, most of the course, what happens is when you even think of a classical piano player, a classical piano player learns a few skills and then they learn how to read music. They're not really learning until later on in life what chord placement is, what what uh, what your triads are, your seven chords are. They are learning how to read music. A lot of people that play gospel music, you start learning by somebody teaching you a few chords. And Cornell maybe want to tell his story about that, but you learn yeah. by uh, getting a few chords, and then it's like, okay, well, where do I go from now? And or where do I go from there? And so a lot of the stuff that's taught in this for right now for twelve books is stuff that I didn't get. Well, like I, I was blessed to go to a high school that was focused on uh, music. So I was able to learn a lot of this stuff, but then I was going hanging around my friends and I'm like, wait, y'all don't know your skills. You don't know your chords. You don't know this type of stuff. And I didn't. Um, and uh, so in this course, we were intentional about making sure that you have everything that you need to know, not just what you want to know. Because if you want to know something, of course, you you will do what it takes for it. But sometimes what you need to know will get you to where you want to go. So what you need to know will get you to where you want to go. Uh, so um, I think, Q, if you're ready, we can we can take a look inside the course uh, sure. if you want to do that now. Yes, that'll be great. Uh, before we do that, I wanted to just say something because I want to let you know that I can I can definitely identify with not knowing scales. Um, by the time I but was about to go to college, just as Antoine was speaking of that story of, you know, getting all the way to school and then having to break bad habits. Literally, I had to I had a bad habit. Man, I would cross my fingers and I would do stuff. And I know people who are phenomenal and they do that and they've been able to travel the world. And, you know, for them, that has worked, but it doesn't work for everybody to build yeah. the speed, to build the dexterity, to build the stamina. <laughs> my wife, yes, baby. <laughs> she's she's like, sir, who approved, who approved the price tag of oh twelve dollars? We blessing the people. We blessing the people, baby. Uh, but I think it's amazing that when I when I went to school, I was about eighteen years old, and I was just about to uh, about to start school before my audition. I had to learn all twelve scales with the right fingering. It was. It was a journey. Now I had a serious work ethic. And so I worked it out. I worked it out. And I worked out enough to be able to do the scales, octaves, two, three, four octaves uh, with both hands, my left and right. But I'll tell you, I didn't have the fingering. And as fast as I was able to play, I still had some difficulty. You know, when I first started, man, it was it was difficult to break the habit at first. But it takes work. It takes practice. I wish. There was a course in 1998, 97, 98 that I could have, you know, gotten. And so I believe that through what I went through, it really helped uh, to develop and birth, stay the course, to really want to help others to understand, like, why can't I go faster? What is that thing? What is that block? Is How do I develop a work ethic? How do I develop, develop a practice regimen, uh, become a regimen in my practice? And see it on the screen. I'm telling you, you have screens to where you can literally look and watch the notes that are being played uh, as I'm going through it. You can slow down the video. And I wish I would have had that before I went to school. And it took me about a good, good couple months to become strong. After a year, it was smooth selling. From then, I am, what, 25 plus years playing. And I still sit down and do my skills, contrary motion. I'm still working them. Why? It helps for the fluidity to be fluid, to have such a flow in my ideas and all of that. So that's I'm giving you a little bit of what we're going to be getting into uh, our one on one, kind of showing you um, some things that I've learned even with chords because of the scales and stuff like that. So it's, it's going to be absolutely amazing. OK, let's get into that. man. I just wanted to share that because sometimes people want to know. You know, like they want to hear stories or like, well, you know, how did it work for you? Trust me, it helped me. So two, two things I want to follow up on what you said. One was work ec work ethic. Now, this is the this is the legitimate legitimate truth about um about this course. This course is not designed um 
this course is not designed for you to like, it's not, it's not an easy course. Like it's coming from somebody that had really great work ethic and had to go through a lot of stuff. So this is not the course. Like we see courses that be like, oh, learn 500 songs in two minutes. Like this <laughs> of course is that, like, we're building something. So if you go through the process, you will feel yourself built. We have people that couldn't play in the key of D and they're like, wait, after going through the skills part, after going through the chords part, I realized that I already had some gifting, but I was I was falling short because I didn't know how to place my fingers. I didn't know how to to lock into my dexterity. So uh, at the end of the day, this course is not for if, if you are not willing to work for what you want. Honestly, it's not the course for you. Yeah. If you're willing to, to put that work ethic in and spend some time, because the thing is, even for me, when I sit down and practice, like it's annoying because when it comes to work ethic, like when you when you think about the goats of anything, these people have to put some effort in. Like yeah. we see be like, oh, man, I wish I was there. Like you can't wish you were somewhere if you don't want to do the work. So the, the thing is, it's not an easy course. It's a it, like we talk about going beyond the plateau like it is tough. It, this yeah. is literally college level. Co this is college level basics for twelve dollars and forty nine cents today. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, so uh, drill, I mean, fix drill said uh, went to the site. Don't see one time payment price when you go to uh, Cornell Gaskin dot com. Um, actually, let's let's get to, to sharing the screen so I can get this, uh, to you. Uh -huh. And for those of you who are interested you know, just like Fitzgerald, follow follow his lead, or you can definitely follow him and purchase while we're talking. I promise you, is it is something that's going to bless your life. I've had even access to myself, to Antoine, there in the student group to ask questions, and it's amazing. Sign me up for Shelton says sign me up for three of them. <laughs> so, <Love> you, <laughs> so uh, and this again, this video, this is. Um, uh, Albert says, facts, uh, you have to be dedicated and persistent. Yeah. Uh, so let me go here. Uh, so the way, oh, sh man, Shelton, uh, let me get rid of this real quick. All right. So, yes, when you go, let's start at the beginning. Yes. All right. Yes. So yes. when you go, this, and then this is what I have to let y'all know. This is only for a very limited time. Uh, so share it with those people that need to get it so that they can get this video because the price goes up every week this month. So right okay. now, it like I think actually tonight after it, it's like 13 hours left before it goes goes up. So this is a site. Right now, there are essentially three uh, course options. There's the Conquering the Foundation, which is uh, your college beginner course, your college basics course, where it goes through a number of things, which I'll talk about later. Then there's Q Progressions. Q Progressions is just Cornell demonstrating some different progressions that he literally made up when we were in the studio. And it's right. like, you know, we need some progressions. People are asking for progressions. So he made out of, of about 13 to 15 of these in like an hour and put them together and was like, yo, here, here we go. Here are some progressions. And then as the deer is a presentation that just shows you different ways that he would approach the song with this, you go in, you learn the way that he would approach it and then apply that to every key Apply it to uh, how you start to learn songs. So when you click on the, and I'm on the wrong screen. So right here, when you click on conquering the foundation for today, it's going to take you to an option that shows you, this uh, $49.99, 95 price. And then once you click on there, you automatically get the discount that's $12.49. You enter your email address, your card option uh, or PayPal. Then you can subscribe to the list. Like even after this month, we will occasionally just be like, hey, you know what? We're giving out a, a free lesson this month. So you want to make sure that you subscribe to the list so that you get those notifications. Sure. So, uh, so if you already have Conquering the Foundation, uh, so the, the course is called Stay the Course, 
and it's built with multiple different uh, course options. So we're, we're coming out with more courses that, that focus on different things. It was important to do the foundation first because there are so many people that have been playing for years and still don't play with the right, uh, right fingerings. Sure. All right. So cornellgassing.com, you pick this. Now, if you go for the free 31 day trial, that does not enter you into the drawing to get the free one on one. The trial is just five day trial of the 31 day trial that allows you to just get access to the first five days to see if it's something that you like. So uh, before we, uh, we're about to go into the course and show some stuff, uh, let's see if there's any questions before we go into to that. Uh, Quincy said, are the, are the lessons online? Yes, Quincy, the lessons are online, uh, www.cornellgaskin.com. You can go there. Um, Jonathan, was, go ahead, bro. Say to him. You said Jonathan? Yeah, Jonathan. Oh, there we go. I'm sorry. Uh, can I start this course as a beginner? I was telling them, yes, you definitely can. So I hope you're still there and you're able to uh, uh, finally get your answer. Yep. If you if you don't know how to if you don't know how to play at all, you can come on in and we're gonna get you going and get you where you need to be. Yes, Carlito, no transpose button. We are against the transpose button in the sense of we want you to become. Uh, more skilled at, at your craft, and that's what we're here to help you uh, to do. Uh, I wanted to say this. If there are any people who are teachers or connected to teachers, music teachers, uh, people who are connected to churches, any pastors, any reverends, I think i seen a reverend on here, forgot what city he was from, uh, but we want you to take this to your reformation, take this to your school, uh, this is for people who cannot play. This is for schools or charter schools or um, even, even, you know, um, daycares possibly looking to get your children, you know, going, teenagers going, uh, adults. It, it's, it's for anybody who's willing to learn. It's going to benefit you and help you greatly. So please send, share. Uh, we have information that we can give to you. Uh, you know, it's real simple, www.cornellgaskin.com, because it's not just, it's for everybody, okay? So we're not limiting it, limiting this at all. And so anybody who wants to come in and become a part, uh, one-time payment of twelve forty nine. like I said, it's yours uh, for a lifetime. We're looking to really help you to be the best that you can be. And uh, before the, it's funny, before the COVID, uh, we really wanted to, uh, still looking for somehow to do it. Wanted to travel around the country and eventually, ultimately around the world, begin to set up uh, in different cities uh, and begin to teach and to have uh, master classes. I also do master classes. And I've been blessed to do a couple before COVID and uh, came. And this is what we were looking to do and still looking to do once we come through this uh, to be able to come to a city near you and to be able to show you and offer uh, State of Course and concepts from State of Course as well. Um, but before that day comes, come on and get on in. I promise you, you're going to be tremendously blessed. Um, so, Twan, we wanted to go ahead and get into yeah, uh, the course on there. Conquering the Foundation and see exactly. Let's show, let's show what's there. All right. So uh, we're going to talk about kind of what's inside so again, each of these are separate uh, courses. Mm -hmm. The name of our courses is Stay the Course, and in each course you get you can or in Stay the Course you can get different courses. Um, so you may be on a beginner course, you may be on an intermediate course, you may be on an advanced course, but we want to take you through those. So what we'll do is we'll actually start with conquering the foundation. So. When you go into Conquering the Foundation, just this segment is uh, 36 lessons. Um, the majority of them are video lessons. So when you come in, you'll get like an introduction from Q. You'll get some things about how to navigate the platform, just different things you need to know. We want to get make sure that your mind is prepared to take the journey of playing. Literally, yeah. this is a course that you can come back to each day, each month, and be able to feed on a little bit more as you grow. 
it's literally a marathon, not a sprint. So when you go in, like if it takes you a, a while to get one concept, just spend the time on that concept. You don't have to do everything at once. So uh, for the beginners who don't know something like their chromatic scale, literally your chromatic scale is where you play each note of the piano one at a time. Uh, but to get the speed that you need, you have to play with the correct fingering so that you can move more flawlessly or fluidly through the piano. So this is your starting point. You get to know all 12 of the notes and build uh, from there. So once you click on this, it'll take you into a video lesson. Once you get that or you're comfortable with that, uh, you can move on to your major scales. Now, even if you're not totally comfortable with your, your chromatic scale, but you, you kind of got it, you can move on to your major scales. The major scales are in here and they're broken up into four into three categories, excuse me. The three categories uh, are focused on what has similar fingerings. So when you play them, you're putting the ones together that can be played with the same fingering or close fingerings so that you can, um, so that your mind is not uh, taken on too many different paths. So the scale set, set one, all five of these scales have the same fingering. Once you know C, you will know G, D, A, and E if you play with the right fingering. Um, uh, or once you know the notes. So the second scale set, the third scale set. So we go through those so that that can help you not play the, use the transpose button anymore because you now know the notes of the scale. If you don't know the notes of the scale, you're going to continue to uh, transpose. When you're trying to figure out the melody of a song, oftentimes the melody of a song is within the scale. But if you don't know the scale, you'll be searching for notes versus just playing the notes that are in there uh, and then being able to hear outside of that. Mm -hmm. So then we take you through triads, how to play the triads or what the, the notes are of the triads. Uh, and later when you go from there, once you know your triads, that's the, kind of the basic foundation of like, okay, if I can't hear the extended notes, if I can figure out if this chord sounds major, minor, diminished or augmented, I am moving forward. So learning the triads, is gonna help you build your ear, but also uh, your finger position to know how to play it. Uh, and I believe, and there's an exercise in this that helps you to go through them in every key. Yes. You go through the seven chords. So you play through triads, now you need to extend it to another note. Literally this section is adding one more note to the, uh, to the triad section. And then you have some exercise on how to go through that in all 12 keys. Again, we're defeating transpose by teaching you how to move from one step to, to the next. So yeah. those are the, uh, the, uh, the, the initial foundations right there, your scales, your triads, your seven chord. Then uh, we've pr uh, put some, uh, some beginning uh, progressions. So if you were watching earlier, you know that we have Q progressions, which are the, the more advanced ones that he created kind of on the spot. This section, um, will be some progressions where it builds on a basic uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight progression, but then uh, variations on it so that you know how to uh, play it different ways and how to approach things uh, just a different way. So yeah. there's uh, three of those progressions uh, in their video progressions. You can see what he's playing on his head, hands. Next, we get a lot of people talking about reharm. How can I reharm? How can I do these different things? The challenge is sometimes people are trying to reharm when they first don't know the, the, the basic foundations of the melody, basic foundations of the chord. So in this, we go over a basic song that uh, teaches you, goes through the melody, then goes through uh, different approaches to it from a simple approach to how you can uh, stretch a little bit. And then also a part of this, you get some ear training. Once you've learned your major triads, your diminished triads, your, se your seven chords, then you go through this and assess yourself to see, hey, can I hear this stuff as well? Or am I just, I, do I just know the notes or can I actually hear what it is as well? So this is the, the first, uh, first uh, part. Thanks, Fitzgerald, we're happy to have you, have you in, uh, in the course. So, um, and then we we um, we post some bonuses in here and, re and reminding you right now, this is only twelve dollars and forty nine cents. 
it won't stay this price because this is a ridiculous amount of content. Yeah. And this is just the beginning. But wait, there's more. Like we can literally do like the commercial moment. Or, <laughs> wait, it's, there's it's, more. <laughs> but wait, there's more. So this is what you get in to a, the second half. So this is the first part of conquering the foundation. There's a second half of this particular course offering, but this is the beginning. When you pay your one-time payment of twelve forty-nine, you also get uh, the thirty-one day challenge. So first of all, you got your your major scales, your chromatic scale, your triads, your seven chords, a couple of chord progressions to help you start to build a melody and chord reharmonization study to where you can learn the beginning approach to how to reharm something simple or difficult. And then you're going to get your ear trained. And we may even add more of these ear trainings to challenge you some more. But because this is the, the kind of the intro, the college intro one, we try not to totally overwhelm you, but we may add some more into there. So yeah. next you get uh, with Conquering the Foundation, you also get another 31 videos. Again, this is $12.49 for right now. So um, I'll let Q kind of talk talk through a couple of these. Can you see this all right, Q? Uh, yeah, it's pretty okay. Yep, and so uh, also I thought it was amazing. I think one of our youngest students uh, in the course is what, nine or 10 years old? And yeah. He posted some videos. I think his uh, mother or father was so happy and he was learning how to play songs. And he's literally playing a melody and singing along. It's absolutely amazing. So even though it's, you know, college type, you know, basic, you know, things that you're learning, theory and things of that nature, um, it's still something that children can get as well. And so it's not so difficult that you cannot understand uh, as you apply yourself. Okay, so as you can see here, two of, uh, we have days one through 10. So we're dealing with the major scales one octave. And so uh, absolutely amazing, took my time, did the video uh, and uh, made sure that I'm able to help you understand the major scales, C, D, E, F, G, um, uh, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, one through eight. And actually that is the start of the number system. Um, I think we got into a little bit of that to help people to know uh, across the country that might not be familiar with that and they're in church or I don't know if you're a singer, this is not just for uh, instrumentalists, it's also for other musicians as well, other musicians as well, even singers. You, you are more than welcome to come on in too. So day one, we do with the major scales, one octave. Day two, major and minor triads, which is absolutely amazing. It's an introdu introduction uh, to and, your and major and minor triads. Um, and this is the thing, like with the with all of this stuff in the 31 day challenge, this challenge in these particular videos, uh, you're not learning, we're not teaching you each thing in this. All of this stuff you were already taught in the right. first half of the course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you complete the first half of the course, you just go in and implement it in the second half of the course. So it's a progress, a progression. It's stay the course. Like we're taking you on the course, a journey somewhere. So the first section that um, that you watched was just, hey, here's what you're going to learn. And then we implement it into exercises that will build your dexterity. Yeah. And we even had people around the world, literally, uh, that did some testimonials and uh, when we first started, when we first launched, what was that, Antoine, 2017 was the first 2017. Year? Yeah, we first launched it, and we had other people posting the exercises that were uh, that were interesting to them, like that helped them uh, to just like seasoned musicians and people who were just starting, that every day they really tried to jump in. And so uh, there's so much being offered. Day three, we deal with the triads of the major scales. Day four, major scales, we move to two octaves now. Uh, some people I know can play one octave fluid, you know, fluently, but they can't play two octaves. So I really show you and do a video of how to do that and really challenge you to, to grow in that area. Day five, we deal with the major and minor triads and its inversions. A lot of people ask me about, you know, how do you, um, you know, voicings, voicings, where do your voicings come from? It, it comes from knowing your scales. It comes from knowing your triads. And then it comes from knowing uh, your, uh, your seventh chords. 
And then that's how you've been able to play the melody and now be able to choose from the different inversions. So that part is real important uh, for you to do. So we challenge you there. Day seven, diminishing augmented triads. Um, day eight, major scales, three octaves. So now we move up and down the keyboard, um, literally trying to get you to where we can now do four octaves up and down in every single key. And so you see demonstrations of that and you see people, uh, you can actually go and probably find those who uh, have gone through it and are uh, just uh, challenged to just grow in that area. Day 10, diminished and augmented triads and its inversions. Really, really awesome to give you, uh, it's different to the air, especially the, the augmented chords um, with the melody in that. Oh, really, really some awesome stuff that I would hopefully get to in a one-on-one virtual lesson with me, really kind of break down some of those stuff in, in, in even greater detail. Uh, then you have days 11 through 20, moving all the way up to 30, uh, 31 days. Wow. And remember, once again, this is a, this is not a, uh, a speed race. This is definitely a marathon, you know? And, and, so, and uh, one of the things to consider, and then I guess, I guess we're going to, we, there's, there's more videos, but we ain't going to, we ain't gonna talk about you all, and we, we'll let you let you see the rest when you when you come come in. Sure. sure. The the thing about the thirty one day challenge is honestly, it's not thirty one days. Like, if you are not in a position to where you know all of the content, you may be on day seven and realize, oh man, I missed the diminished or you, whatever day. You may be in a day where you're like. Oh, I don't know my diminished chords for for this key, or I don't know my diminished shapes for this, or my major or my triads for this. And you may have to go back to the first half of the course and say, okay, I need to clean up my my seven chords, or I don't I didn't realize that uh, my inversions for my triad. So now, so the goal is not to spend an absorbent amount of time on one thing. Uh, but it is to make sure that you understand it and find a way to process through it by using the metronome, by by having those things intact, because it's a lot of content uh, mm -hmm. and it can be it can be tedious because like literally for 1249 right now, you're getting your whole first and maybe second year of music theory slash uh, piano that you would do in college. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's a lot of content, and if you if you started playing just in church and didn't get any formal training, this is going to be the best route for you to go. Again, this is not a quick formula to how to play like Quinnell in thirty days. We're not selling you play like Quinnell in thirty days. We're selling right. you play better in thirty days, play mm -hmm. more efficiently in thirty days. But it will take effort, and then you don't have the act. You don't have access for just thirty days. You can yeah. go if you if you stuck on day one, you can keep practicing that for ten days <laughs> and then go to day two. So the yeah. days are based on uh, on on you. Yeah, absolutely. And I think it's incredible because I think that first month that we did, what was that November? What's October? October. Uh, yeah. In, in two thousand seventeen, we had by the time we reached November, we had about almost seventeen or eighteen hundred people. Yeah. Live that have come in uh, just to the 31 day challenge. The course was being worked on. Yeah. We just had the 31 day challenge. That's all we had. And so, so there's, there's definitely been over four to 5,000 people that have gone through this process. Some yeah. of them made it through, some of them didn't make it all the way through. But when you get your access to it, like it may take you three months to do the 31 day challenge. But, uh, it's, okay. it, it, but it's okay. It's a matter of saying, okay. I want to get this. And if you're a perfectionist, like you would definitely have those moments where it's like, okay, I got to stay here until it's done. And that's okay. You can take it at your pace. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm also excited too, because conquering the foundation is absolutely amazing. That incorporates the 31 day challenge in it. Uh, going beyond your plateau, because now that we look what Antoine is about four, 4,000 plus people. Yeah. Who have joined in the last three years, and uh, we we're really looking to grow, and I, we know that it's going to grow, and uh, we want you to help us to get it get it to the people who need it. You know, people who are looking for theory, who are looking for the basics. You know, parents that are looking for teachers and 
looking for something to, especially uh, with with the quarantine states or those who are, you know, you you not too sure about COVID and going amongst people. It's a perfect time to uh, while the kids are dealing with school to also involve your kids in something musical. Get them a keyboard if there's a piano that has been sitting. It's time to to wipe the dust and the cob cobwebs off of that piano and get that yeah. child or get going yourself. And so we want you to continue to assist us in sharing with those who you know who need uh, this. If you need this, it's time for you to come on. And uh, it's my plea. Like I say, love is my inspiration. And uh, I'm inspired by God because of what I went through. Uh, not having theory, not having the, you know, the things, some of the things that I needed. And so it's like sometimes the things that you go in through, you go through in life, literally prepare you for your future, and that's definitely what this has done. Uh, the, my struggles in the beginning when I started playing in the key of C for like two years, that was my only key. I couldn't play in any other key, and then I wish that there was someone who could have showed me more keys, and I wish there was a course that was you know there that really could have helped me in the in the nineties. Man, this is before. Before Instagram, I think, matter of fact, what you call it wasn't my up. I think the first social media thing was, oh, Lord, I'm about to take them down. Antoine, what is that? Uh, oh, God, the first thing. I, I know. My, my space. <laughs> yes. I'm Listen, people, I'm taking you way back. So, you know, it, it, it's really it was on my heart, Antoine's heart, Aaron's heart to really come together and to put together something. Yes, Donnie, MySpace, uh, something that would really help people to not have to feel alone. Um, you got some people's like searching. I, I get inboxes and DMs on Instagram and even uh, Facebook and <clears throat> people are saying that I might meet uh, as I've been able to travel a little bit uh, during the last couple of months, man, like, yo, and you know, I don't have a mentor. I don't have a teacher. I don't have someone I can bounce things off musically. I don't have someone who can kind of coach me through things. Well, I say, listen, you don't have to look any further. I would be honored to mentor you. I'd be honored to become your teacher. I'd be honored to really assist you. Something that would be really great would be uh, State of Course Conquering Foundation. So we're here to help you and to uh, help you to see, uh, to build on the potential that you have help you to realize and recognize something that you've never seen before about yourself musically and I help to add to your life to help to uh, you to get closer to your dream. So really excited to be able to come and share with you uh, with this course that God has blessed us to do and so blessed to share with you today. Uh, Twan, you want to get into some questions? Yeah. I, you know what I think I want to do is I'm going to see if this works and then they can let me know. Okay. I, uh oh. <laughs> I, think, I think like Q hasn't heard this or like some no of this I stuff uh, we hadn't heard in a while. So I'm gonna see if it will work. Let us know if you if the sound is working on your end. Hey guys, how you doing? Oh, I'm so glad that you're here. All right, um, I, I was thinking of a concept that I wanted to share with you today. Um, it's going to be two five ones descending. Okay, we're going to start in, in the key of C, and we're going to take it down. And this is going to help you with your right and your left hand, um, and also going to help you to kind of get your keys. This is an exercise that you could do in every single key. I'm sure it's going to be definitely beneficial for you. Okay, here we go. that one more time. I really like the sound of that as well. All right, here we go. All right, so let's start so we can break that down. Let's take what, exactly what that is. So then there came there was a breakdown. Amazing. I forgot all about that. Wow. 
like, that's really like kind of classical, right? That's that. That's uh, that's uh, I was on some classical tip that day, man. So I, I, I think I'm gonna share just just one more. So this this course is uh, Q progressions, which I mentioned earlier. So it's it's also on sale. I think you can get Q progressions for ooh, let's see. You can get Q progressions right now for um da, 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 7.49. Wow. So if you don't have Q progressions, uh, make that put that a part of make that a part of your library. You need to add it. So I'm gonna right, right. <laughs> just let y'all hear a little bit a little bit of this. Uh <laughs> So if if y'all want to hear hear the rest of this, just just say yes. If you want to hear the rest of this, just say yes. Because this is the thing. Like I have no idea what just happened. Me either. Uh, but if you want to hear the rest, hear this again, or if you can hear it, just just say yes. Uh, so in this one, like when we started this, we would just knew that we were doing progressions. So this one is, um, uh, I love you, I love you, Lord, today. But it has some um, some 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 crazy some crazy variations. So I'm gonna let you hear a little bit more of it. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Cornell Gaskin. So happy to be here with you today. Just want to share a uh, core progression. Uh, a new new series I'm gonna be coming out with. Just uh, chords with Q. So it's gonna be my interpretation and just to give you some things. Uh, to just <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> Express yourself in different ways, kind of get you out of uh, maybe the way, and add, uh, inspire you to kind of do some things a little bit different. So we're gonna start in B flat. Uh, the song that I played is "I Love You, I Love You, Lord." Today, uh, just the end part of that, I'll play that again, and then we'll get into the progression. Okay. All right, here we go. B flat. That's a nice ending or a nice beginning, either way that you want to take it. All right, let's get into the progression exactly what that is. Let's just start with the. So then there was a breakdown of that. All I can say is that. Wow. That's a lot of great stuff. There's, wow. there's a lot of great, great stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm shocked by, I'm shocked by my own self, because I think, I think if, I, I try to let people into <clears throat> how I think a little bit, and it's, it's for me, you know, I just, I just have my own thought process, or my own thought processes, and with that, you know, in mind, once I do something, I'm pretty much done with it. I'm gone. I'm on to something yeah. else, trying to create something else. And so uh, I have not heard that progression since I did that progression in 2000, maybe 18, whatever, whenever that was. Yeah, maybe so, 18. Yeah, to hear it again, you know, it's just amazing to see uh, how after you become regimented, after you practice, after you come to such a place that you can literally uh, have so much vocabulary. And that's what I want to see for people across the world, um, whether classical, whether jazz, whether gospel, whether soul, whether hip hop, whether R&B, these various different giants of music. I want to be able to inspire and to be able to motivate uh, other to people to tap into the authentic them, you know, and stay the course, I believe, is something that helps people, it sets the tone 
to, to help you to tap into what you have that you don't know you have yet. And so hearing that just you know inspires me all over again. Uh, number one, to keep going myself, uh, to stay the course on continuing to uh, meet Antoine, Aaron, and the team to continue to produce great content to, um, I believe, how many people, Antoine, uh, State of Course has been before? 3.4 million people in the last three years? What's that? Am, am I accurate yeah. with those numbers? I might be yeah. off. It, it may be. A thousand or whatever. It, it may be more than that. It may be more. I, I got to look at the, the number again. Uh, the numbers. I know but, one of one of the videos, I feel like one of the vi videos itself has been viewed probably 10 million times. Okay. Okay. Or twelve million, maybe. It, it's like million. so. I'm gonna share. I'm gonna share one more, one more thing, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna head out. Make sure you go to CornellGaskin.com to check out some of this stuff. Uh, uh, we have about twelve hours before this sale ends, and the price goes up. It'll still be on sale, but the price will go up. Uh, and let me find okay. the video. Get share. it now. Definitely, definitely get it now. Mm -hmm. All right. So here we go. So I don't know exactly which one this is, but this oh, is uh, a variation. So in this series, this is the uh, Quinnell stretching a little bit so that you can get an example of the, uh, the opportunities that you have in uh, approaching the song. So this isn't a breakdown of it, but this is an approach to it, but you will be able to slow it down and use some of that approach uh, because it's literally iron sharpens iron. So being being having access to it will help you um, really develop what you need in your own playing. <laughs> All right, Quinnell Gaskin here. Hi guys, how you doing? All right, so I wanted to just share with you uh, some things that I think that is very uh, informative and very helpful uh, in assisting you to understand uh, what's going on when you're playing for a vocalist. Um, some questions might be asked, well, should I play the melody? Should I not play the melody while the vocals are singing? Uh, some people say yes, some people say no, but it just depends. I found out in my experiences, um, sometimes you don't play the melody and sometimes vocalists will get lost. Either they get too excited or they forgot the melody because they're nervous. There's all different kinds of things that happen. So it's basically based on the singer, based on the moment to where you would really know kind of what to do and what not to do. So sometimes it might be good to keep that melody in there without overplaying while stretching, while doing different things. Um, so it just depends on the moment, depends on the singer. It depends on, you know, um, you know, you really have to be sensitive. You really have to be kind of like, just listen, use your ears and then use good judgment, good musical judgment to know how far I can stretch and how far I can. not And then what has to be played? It might be the middle part that they got confusing. It might be the turnaround. So it's good for you to know that melody and to know when and when not to do it based on the vocalist. Some vocalists are very strong. So all you got to do is just pad. And you can kind of stretch and they'll follow and you'll find that this is the, this dynamic to where you're working together. So that'll that'll kind of um, maybe help. Um, um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just just work on the lick alone. I don't care what you're about to play. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just learn the, the, the beginning <laughs> lick and call it a day. So for instance, so if a person was singing and you decide to play with the melody. Uh, I like, damn, 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 damn. Take that song, right? The water's on my soul. Damn, damn, damn. Automatic, I can tell, they kind of strong on the melody, so I'm going to maybe deviate. You alone, all my heart's desiring to learn. To be. See, I can kind of do that, but if you hear somebody, uh, as a deer, wait, I, I, I gotta, I gotta hear that. I gotta hear that whole thing again. Wait, right. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm having a moment. <laughs> um, so, for instance, so if a person was singing and you decide to play with the melody, as a deer, take that song right. The water's on my soul. Long and 
Automatic, I can tell they kind of strong with the melody, so I'm gonna maybe deviate. You alone, all my heart's desire and to earth to thee. See, I can kind of do that, but if you hear somebody, as a deer, belly full of water, so mild, and they kind of like, you, <laughs> it just depends. It, it depends on the situation. Some people, as a deer, panted for the water. So it just depends on the vocalist. You got to know the song. And, you know, you hope that the vocalist that's singing know the song. But if they don't, you just find different ways to just kind of compensate, you know. And sometimes some people, based on the vocalist and how they do sing, um, maybe they don't stretch. So maybe you might have to play a little bit more, just be more selective. As an event for the water so much, so long it happens the you know, so just be more selective on your choices of when you. Yes, you can. <laughs> what was that? Oh. <laughs> Dang, what? Yes, what in the world? Yes, yes, you can. Well, I can. I can teach creativity, uh, Bradley. Uh huh. Amazing, bro. I don't know. What that was. The, so, and the thing is, I was in the room recording this. You okay. sure this, this is my my last moment, like, cause this change to the D flat, and you know, you hope that the vocalist that's singing know the song, but if they don't, you just find different ways to just kind of compensate, you know. And sometimes some people, based on the vocalist and how they do sing, um, maybe they don't stretch, so maybe you might have to play a little bit more, just be more selective. As a Right there, right, right, stinking there. What in the world? Yeah, oh, I can just break that yeah, part down. Break down. Yeah, yeah, I see it. It's a, it's an A over C sharp. A over C. Yeah, A over C sharp. I'm thinking. I'm thinking about going so so. F is F is the five of the key, right? So yeah. I'm going to. Uh, I'm actually thinking of going to the the, B the sharp minor? five. The sharp five of F, and then going to that, <laughs> the six. Mm. I, I okay. Uh, so you, all right. So you're in B flat. You're thinking right. about going to that. That F sharp, so that you can get to the G minor. All right, play one more time. Make sure that I've seen it right. I think that that was a. It wasn't you did the F sharp. A, it was a, a C sharp, right? Yeah, yeah, you did a, a, a major. A major over C sharp. What is the melody note? So. Uh, yeah, because I'm 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 thinking of the key of F now. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yep, yep. A over C sharp. Oh. Uh huh. But oh, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a D major. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What? Uh huh. D major. Yeah. After the. But it's. Uh -huh. After the, mm. how does that work? Isn't the melody an F? Yeah, it is. You know, so just be <laughs> more <laughs> right, bro. Bro, that is funny, man. I'm gonna have to do a breakdown of that, like for real, like a maybe a whole concept. That's that's a whole neo soul vibe if you wanted to do right there. Actually, mm -hmm. uh, you could write a song just off of those chords. Right? Mm -hmm. 
almost like three to four, back to B flat three four, then going to that that uh, flat five to five, then actually went to the the C over B flat, you know, and then walk it back down from seven six five to start again. Mm -hmm. So th this is why, for especially for for October, this is why you want to sign up for the course because imagine being able to get a private lesson just over that turnaround alone. Yeah, yeah. He literally went to the key of D major, really, mm -hmm. in the middle of doggone B flat. And I was thinking, I was thinking F. That's why I did that. I was thinking F. Uh, that that flat, that flat six to six major, then back to three in B flat, B flat over D, and then to that E flat, then going to that C over E, then C over B flat, back to the F chord over A, and then the G minor, and then the F F major. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. Don't miss out. Don't, <laughs> don't miss out because. Oh, man. Because that was ridiculous. Oh, man. Even, this if, you don't win the, even if you don't win the lesson, uh, even if you don't win the lesson, just being able to sit there and dissect that. And after you, especially once you know the foundation and then now you can look and be like, okay, this was A, this is D major. You can start to dissect some of the stuff you uh, want to dissect yourself. So, uh, uh, Bradney, when you say, can you teach create, can you teach creativity? Yeah, you can teach the creativity, uh, but it starts somewhere. It starts at that foundation and like really understanding like, wait, like how are these things connected? Um, and then just have fun with it yeah building a vocabulary because you, you in order to have in order to be creative you have to create from something and that's why you create from the foundational stuff the basic theory stuff the scales because the scales help you to understand the melody uh, that chromatic scale teaches you to act almost like the accidentals that are in the key you know <laughs> like you have b flat you have the b flat scale b flat c uh, D, E flat, F, G, A, and B flat. So now when you put your chromatics in, you got a B in there, which is actually like a flat two. Uh, uh, yeah, flat two. And so if you have like a, your minor third, which is D flat in there. So now you have your, your three, D, E flat is your four. Then you have your E, or it's actually, what is it? That would be F, yeah, E. E yeah. in there. Yeah. So your E will be your flat five. So now you have your, your F sharp. If you put your F sharp in there, you're talking about your flat six flat six or your sharp five. So now when you know your chromatic scale and you know your scale and you can make the difference between the two, now what you're able to do is when you're playing different melodies, you know, now you're able to pull from those chromatics or that scale and then create your chord from whatever that melody note is. And so now you start adding voices and inversions, forget it. It's, you know, now you're just increasing the possibilities of what you could do over a particular phrase or for a particular bar and a particular bar of a song, all of that. So what I what I think I'm hearing is so you have you have your 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 scale. Mm -hmm. Then from your scale, you use those chromaticisms to be able to weave in and out of that foundation so it's like like you said you have your skill so it's like okay well just because this note isn't in the skill doesn't mean i can't use it i just have to figure out how to use it without it totally taking away from the musicality it's like okay now i ha have all these notes how can i use them because i don't want to necessarily be stuck in just the major scale yes. because they're, i'm grabbing these sounds absolutely I think you know something that we didn't, we never got to teach Anton, and maybe we will. Uh, if we could take a couple of questions, and then we jump on off, we'll take maybe like two or three questions. If anybody has questions, as I was said, is that all right, Tuan? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, um, I wanted to say this. What one thing that we were talking about years ago? I think it's like 2016. Before this is before uh, yeah. this is before everything. This is before 31 Day Challenge. This is before the course. We were talking about building of the alphabet and really understanding letters. 
So if you take that in, in foundation, uh, I don't know how you know precise or accurate I'm going to be, but uh, I'm thinking about the, the letter A. So let's just take A, B, C, D. All right. So without, you could speak words, but to speak words and not know where they come from. Yeah. A word is not a word first. A word comes literally from a particular uh, alphabet. You know what I'm saying? You got to have a letter in the alphabet. So it's a letter that helps you to now build the words, right? And so from yeah. building your words now, where do we get sentences from? How we communicate, we have a sentence that comes from a word. A word comes from a letter. Now, your sentences now becomes what? A paragraph, right? Correct? And yeah. so now you have your paragraph or you have your, a culmination of sentences. It's the sentences. It's the same thing musically. It's no yeah. different. Your scales is literally a letter. Every scale is, uh, you take an A flat scale, A flat, A flat B flat, uh, you got C, uh, D flat, E flat, F, G, A flat. Now those are literally letters. Look at it as a letter of the alphabet. Now you wanna form words, chords. Now from that, now you form chord progressions or putting it together with the bass. Now form your sentences. Now you put it together paragraphs. Now you're able to communicate so wow. this stuff is so important. Okay, and I think I see. The end, and at the end, you're able to tell a story more effectively uh, because you know your letters, you know how to build sentence structure or progressions. Well, you know, we, 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 we'll we do gotta, the whole. We'll yeah, we gotta dig into that because I'm gonna tell you something that's interesting. Uh, oh. The question. This is back to the question, real quick. Okay, we're gonna answer Carlito's question. Do you use chromatics to build movements through, through the progression? Okay, we're gonna come back to that in one moment. Uh, this is back to Bradney McCain. This is what I love to teach in my, I'm teaching. I got a couple of students across the country that I'm actually showing and teaching now. And I love how, uh, when I look at music now, I look at it now to say, okay, with what you know, how can I help you to become the authentic you? Well, what do you mean? Well, I don't have enough. Yes, you do. You have something to where you can use your voice. Like, my library of music is definitely going to be different from your library of music. So wow. uh, not just my library of music, but the, in the context I'm using it, where I come from, my environment, my state, my region, uh, my place in the country, that's going to determine how I hear music, how I break down music, the ear. So how can I help you to tap in to find out uh, what you have that you can use with the vocabulary to find your own voice? It's coloring. Yes. P yeah, Absolutely. Now, what I think is amazing is what I'm able to do in teaching people to be more creative is I help them to literally tap into words, tap into sentences, open up ideas by open up their ears. Sometimes I've met some students or met some people as they pass by, they say, Q, until I heard you, I didn't think that I could do that. I'm getting that in my private lesson. Uh, one of my students, I believe from Alabama or something like that, he says, man, I didn't even hardly know. I, I've, I've played that before. But I didn't know you could put those two things together. So I want to open people up to the possibilities of what you already have, but don't know that you can put together. That's my mastery. That's why I reharm. So I've been blessed to reharm so well because I'm just now. Oh, this is an important thing. I'm getting excited because I, I love this. I, I'm getting amped about this. I'm blown away that in writing, you have different types of writing. So as you're building sentence sentences and you're making paragraphs and telling the story, there's different ways. There's fiction stories, there's uh, 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 criminal stories, there's all types of fiction stories, there's all types of various different ways. So I love to help people to tap in, to classical, to soul, to hip hop, to anything can be used. It can be motifs, it could be, these are all things that help to add to your library. It could be arpeggiation. Uh, it can be with a scale. It can be octave playing, playing the chord in between, but playing the octave melody, playing the bass, playing double hand. These are all things that change the game. It changes your presentation. And so I really want to open up people's minds uh, that there are more possibilities. Whoa, you might have learned one way. You might be classically trained. You might be soul trained. You might be top 40 trained. You might be church trained. But I believe that there is another, there's, there's more ways that we can find to tell our story, to tell your story, to convey your song, 
uh, to add to the band, to add to the bandstand, to add to your soloing, to add to, you know, and it's not just piano wise, it's also vocal wise. It's also, you know what I'm saying, bass wise. It's also helping to uh, make su suggestions and producing in the production. You know, I hear, I hear minor third instead of major. Let's try that chord on this particular song. Okay, in this particular hook or for this particular, I'm getting excited about that because that's my life. That's my life in the studio. That's how I produce music. Um, that's how I teach music. I, I do that on Sunday morning. There's one song that goes a certain way. Uh, if we're singing that's power in the name of Jesus or we're singing uh, the Diedrich Hadding son song, or God is able to do, I don't want to play it the same way. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep the integrity of the song, but I'm sure I'm going to add my own color. Brandon, Brandon I, I love that you said that. I'm going to add my color and I'm going I'm to tell the story the way I feel it. And it sits on people, the, my, the people who play with me, they say, man, bro, that, that's really sweet. I like that. And they just smile. Woo, you can use your vocabulary to not just make you smile, but make somebody else smile. I'm getting happy, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> and if, if there, there's so much to dive into, uh, it, it's it's crazy. And I and I'm I'm gonna choose not to say all of the stuff that I want to say. Uh, <laughs> I know we've already been over here for for over an hour, but it's like for the for the questions that we have, literally, music is saying you got you have twelve notes, and you just need to create something great from it. Like, don't get bogged down. Like, it's easy, especially as a church musician, a, a musician that uh, grew up in church. It's like, well, we need it to sound like church or you ain't playing it right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. at this point, it's like, don't allow yourself to be trapped by culture. Yeah. 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 And create your own lane. I have the foundation, have the influences in oh, stretch. Because, yeah. like, like again, when you hear some of the stuff Q plays, it's like, how did it fit? How did that work? Because I wanted it to fit, and that's what I heard. So I played it. So are you gonna play it too or no? Yeah, you know what? I, I'm gonna try to be good, but I want to say this because this is a life. I believe that this is a life moment. In my master class, God has blessed me to do. I teach. Uh, I teach and help to uh, convey and portray concepts and ideas by teaching spiritually principles to, to spirituality, musicality, and life. And in, at any moment within the class, um, I'm able to tap into any of this and they all coincide, they all parallel and they all go together to literally uh, give something that you can add to your life. In this moment, don't let culture, don't let environment, don't let um, people, don't let opinions, don't let a box that's been created so you'll fall in line. Don't let that stop you uh, from impacting, influencing, becoming the solution and the answer, <clears throat> the answer to this generation. You have something in you <clears throat> that I believe that God has. Nobody is the same. No, there is no common copy. When God made you, I've said this is so many, uh, so many. Uh, We've been blessed to do podcasts this year. Hey, cuz, <laughs> I love you. Uh, don't let anybody put you in a place to where you don't understand that your difference is what's needed. God didn't want you to be like everybody else. That's why he made you the way he made you. That's why he made you uh, with the way that you look, with the voice that you have, with the passion that you have, with the desires that you have. All of these things make you who you are. There is 26 letters. All of them are important in helping you to tell an effective story. There are some storytellers that tell stories and they lead people to where people didn't really get anything. You don't have to be that because of culture, because of environment, because of dysfunction of family, because of various different things that are going on in this world. I used to hear the bishop used to say at the church, he said, when life serves you lemonade, lemons, Life is going to serve you lemons, period. Make some lemonade. So it's not about what happens to you. It's what you do with what has happened to you. And so I'm learning in my life to continue to tell stories, to tell it 
passionately, to tell it with 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 uh, with a fervency, to tell it with a, 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 a str- with a joy, with a love behind it, so that people can feel the love. They feel the love of God. Inspiration means God breathed. So as God breathes on me, my desire is to breathe on you. Now I'm not the only one that's given the ability to breathe. My God, there's over seven billion people on this planet. And I believe I'm talking to some, everybody who I'm speaking to who's a part of this live today is great in their own way. You've been made different. You've been made creative. You've been made to be able to select from the the vocabulary of the alphabet, to select from the 12 notes of music, whatever the notes are in your life. You can now make something that is edible, that is palatable, something that someone can draw from to to be the best that they are, to change their circumstance to change their situation, to change their mentality. I feel good. I feel like talking, but I'm, 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 I'm whole back. But life is bringing everybody something today. Everybody's challenged. Everybody's faced with somebody, something. But don't, don't, don't allow yourself to be placed in a box to where you feel you can't produce. You must produce in this time. You must create a story. Woo. You must bring forth, you must be a bridge. You have to be. You have to build a bridge. You have to be uh, the gap that people have. You be the one who closes the gap today, because of your personality, because of your person, because of your character, because of your integrity, because of your love, because of your giving. Come on, I'm talking to somebody. I want to encourage you today. We're going to through too much in life to feel that with all we have, we have little. Woo. Yeah. Little becomes much when you put it in the hands of the master. My God, he's able to take two fists and the five loaves of your life and feed the nations. So take the 12 notes, take the 26 letters of the alphabet, my gosh, and begin to figure out ways to effectively tell your story. Don't live in your story, but live on your story. Ride it like a surfboard. My goodness. Ride, ride it to your destination. Set goals for your life. Where do you want to be? Where do you see? Yes, things are going to happen, but nothing can stop you but you. So with stay the course, that's that's a part of why we made the, the stay the course. There's things that's going to come. Life is going to happen. You're going to feel discouraged, and but you got to keep pressing. You got to keep going. You got to keep building. You got to keep growing. You got to keep speaking. You got to keep believing. You are going to be what you say. My goodness. Somebody said, this is good, Quinella, the that P-A-W coming out. <laughs> but I'm, I'm really serious and passionate about this. I'm passionate about your learning. But more than that, I believe that you coming to the community, you being a part of Stay the Course, you purchasing this course is not just for the music part of you. It's for your life. It's for you, the real you. The, the you that is waiting to emerge, the you to encourage the you that is emerging, Ooh, that's coming forth because you are special and you have something to offer the world. The world needs your voice. The world, <laughs> the world needs what you offer. It needs your ideas. It needs your solutions. It needs what you've been tried through and tried with to make the best of that situation so you can help somebody. I heard an old song and then I'm done. If I can help somebody, this is my prayer every day. Lord, dream through me. Dream through me. Let it be undeniable that I'm your son. Let it be undeniable that I belong to you. Let it be undeniable that I'm your child. Let it be undeniable that I've been in your presence. Let it be undeniable that your hand is upon me. Why? So that I can be influential in showing others that God's hand is on you. You might be going through hell and high water right now. I don't know who I'm talking to. You might be going through some things, wondering, can you make it? Wondering, can you come through? Wondering, can you become? Wondering, can you continue? You might feel like giving up today, but you can't give up because God's hand is on you. So the music sets the stage for us to say something. Use that alphabet. Use those 12 notes Whoop! to open up your mouth and influence somebody in a way that they just, it's, you can't deny that the power of God, that God loves us. God loves me. He loves Antoine and he loves us so that we can love on you and let you let you know how loved you are so you can love on somebody else. Love is our inspiration today and love is our motivation. Why we do what we do. All right, well, I think we had a question, bro. <laughs> I, I got real happy. That fire just hit me, bro, in my belly. My goodness. You muted, bro. 
Joseph Pryor, what's up, man? <laughs> uh, I think you had a question earlier, but it might have gotten answered. Okay. Uh, all, that, huh? I, all I can say is with, with what you said, my summary of it goes back to your statement that the world needs your voice. Like literally, we live in a time where it feels like it's easier to chase being somebody else's voice than just being the voice that we were created to be. Hmm. So it's like, don't chase after what you see, be what you're supposed to be. Oh, say that again, bro. Say it one more so time. You need to write that down, brother. See and be what you are supposed to be. Because at the, at the end of the day, like, we... Okay, we can't go into this because I I gotta go, you gotta go, but there, I there's some more in there. But I, I I got like four minutes. But like in this season, if if 2020 hasn't taught us anything else, it's taught us uh, to just be us because we've had to spend more time with ourselves than we've been able to spend with anybody else this year. Yeah, mm-hmm. and how crazy is it to spend more time with you and not knowing who you are? Because you're not letting your voice speak. So in this season, it's like either let your voice speak or just stay quiet. Mm. Mm. Because you you can't keep speaking what other people are speaking if you're called to speak something. It's like, well, why why do God, why do you have me here if I'm not gonna speak? And that's where it's like, hey, a rock can cry out. But he's like, hey, take your chance, use your voice because the world needs your voice. It needs you, or I wouldn't have you here. Mm, 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 either be here and be here or you can chill on the sideline but like you're you were made to do something so just do it yeah and it's it's not gonna be easy because we live in a social media world where what we want to be or what we think we want to be is the model of what somebody else is but i don't want to go through your test when i'm going through my own test so let me just be me because you have, you might have to go through something that I don't want to go through. So a lot of people want to play like Quinnell, but are you willing to to <laughs> practice like Quinnell? So if you're not willing to do that, at least you will have the information, but you still got to be you. So stay the course. Quinnell is not about you being Quinnell. It's about, hey, if I can empower you to be you, I'm going to empower you to be you. Because I'm already taken. Woo! Come on. That, that, so, bro, you see, man. I'm I, was, I wasn't going to say nothing. Yo, bro, when I say uh, that that stuff, it, it stirs me up so much because every time I keep on thinking to myself, I keep on saying, yo, the destiny, destiny, I told somebody at the table yesterday, we went to, the, went to visit one of my friends, uh, and I shared with her, I said, um, I'm absolutely blown away because I found out that destiny visits each one of us every day to see whether we're ready. Mm. Every day, destiny comes to visit. And I found out something else about destiny. When destiny comes to visit us on a daily basis, normally what destiny, destiny finds is a version of version of us that cannot enter. Woo. Mm-hmm. The way we are right now is not going to help us to enter. There's another determination. There is a no, ooh, there's another birthing. There's another coming alive. There is another level of preparation. There's another level of embracing and acceptance. There's another weeding out. There's another there's another growth. There's another step to our growth that we need to do. And as I think about destiny, I'm thinking about, you know, the world doesn't need, the world needs you. That's why God made you. Yeah. So it doesn't want what it's had already. Hear yeah. me. Hear this. The world does not want what it has already had. The world is looking for something that has never seen before. Never and seen. that thing is literally the power of God, his hand that is on you today. He wants you to emerge. He wants you to come forth. He wants you to rise, come to be, accept to be, accept your greatness, accept the cross that you have to bear. Nothing that is painful, that is not painful, is not worth having. 
if pain make pain pay. That's what I was gonna say, Twan. Yesterday at the shed, yeah. we said, pain. Don't let pain come upon you and overtake you, and you either die or live life never making it reward you for all you've been through. All the tears, all the sorrow, all the loss of my life, all the loss of your life, my brother and my sister, and, and we ain't going to make it reward us? No, 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 no. Pain, you're going to pay me. Mm -mm. I'm going to get up on the pedestal. I'm going to get up on the things that you have set for me. Every door globally, every, every business, every relationship, every interest, every gate that I'm supposed to work, every portal I'm supposed to walk in to say something, to be who I am, Ooh, to be me, Ooh, except this, this, this Cornell that the world ain't never seen. Embrace it, accept your greatness. You are greatness. And I can't stop saying, I've been saying that all year, but I'm finding that out because I, I promise you, pain is trying to make you silence yourself. It's trying to make you, like you said, Antoine, go sit on the sideline, go sit up yeah. under a rock and cry. Keep on blaming somebody. Keep on blaming the president. Yeah. Keep on blaming this and blaming your church and blaming your husband, blaming your wife and blaming family and blaming this. Listen, I got to take responsibility for where I am and say, I am here because of this, but this is not the end to me. There wow. is more. Woo, Twan, there is more. How many people you said? 10 million people? There's 7 yeah. billion people plus on this planet. Man, if we could reach 10%, man, we're doing good and we're going to do it. And so are you what you call to do. Challenging, changing, and charging one life at a time. Love is my inspiration. Love is my motivation for why I do what I do. Make your pain pay. Go figure out what has hurt you. Woo! Reverse. Reverse curses, curses, ancestral things, generational things. You don't have to continue to be what it has made you. Woo! You can take it and make a whole nother paradigm. Oh, a whole nother thing that you have never seen before, that your family has never seen before, that the world has never been. I'm excited for you. I really am. I'm excited for you. I'm excited. What, what bro? You shaking your head. What happened? I like that, Josh. What happened? Take oh, responsibility for your response ability. <laughs> See? I like, I like that. that, bro. That has a ring to it. Hi, Absolutely. Ashley. Yeah. Ashley's on here. How you doing? David Rooksby. Oh, man. Bless you, man. Man, I, we got we to gotta go. I got I got my next meeting waiting for me. I didn't text him uh, talking about I'll, I'll be with you in a minute. <laughs> y'all, um, this is what we got for y'all. Hopefully you share this video. Yes. This is what's going on so that you know that you know what's going on. Uh, let me move this comment real quick and also move that. So this is what we got going on. And we're going to head out. Uh, make sure you sign up, CornellGaskin.com, to uh, be a student on the course and, you know, make great things happen. Indeed. I love you all. Y'all be encouraged.